I've sunk an enemy destroyer. On the stormy seas, these weather battles rage. Marso glides with fury, turning every page. With her speed and power, she's the hunter in the night. Best destroyer, buster, ready for the fight. Oh, Marso, you're the buster, destroyer of the seas. With your guns and torpedoes, bringing enemies to their knees. No destroyer stands a chance when you're on. Hey team, this is Ripper. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Marceau and how it is one of the best DD busters out there. But before we begin, like, subscribe, all button below. If you want to support the channel, thank you guys for all those who have already done that. And we can't thank you guys enough for helping us build the community, making it a better place, and learning something at the same time while having fun. So let's get right to it. Marceau, tier 10 French destroyer, alternative to Kleber or Kleber. And this is available in the Armory for Cole. It's one of my favorite, probably the best DD in the game. According to the stat, World Worship stats, it's got the best DPM in the game. Best fire rate right above the small M. And in just watching the video, watching gameplay videos, go YouTube it. You can see the power of the Marceau does shine. It's got four double barrel turrets that just shoot unbelievable firepower. Best DPM in the game, kind of like a mini Colbert. If you don't know what that is, uh, look it up. But Colbert is just a machine gun for the French. Marceau is a machine gun in destroyer format. And with our, equipped with the speed boost and the RPF and the French saturation gimmick and everything that it has got going for it, it I, again, I believe it's one of the best destroyer hunters out there. Even doesn't have hydro or um, the radar abilities, but just having the speed and sheer gun power with the French saturation and the little bit increased HP uh, pull that you get with uh, the Marceau already is enough for it to withstand uh, any kind of DD engagement that you want to throw out there because it's just so scary to go against a Kleber and a Marceau with the gun builds and a pretty, pretty are incredible. Notice that we're also playing against a carrier right now, so that's one downside, but it's got the DFAA, the defensive fire, to do what it can do best, and you're going to see it can survive on its own against a destroyer, or sorry, a CV, but it likes to go ahead right here with the little Shimakaze uh, poking its head out a little bit too much, and just watch the fire power of the Marceau, especially even if he smokes up right now, just too much firepower to be going uh, on the hull of the ship, and boom, we get a detonation. I did not expect that. 17,900 deleted right off the bat just by us alone, and first destroyer down right there, eliminating Bravo Cap and taking it as well so as a good destroyer player what are you doing you're going out there capping you're spotting you're eliminating other destroyer players and now you're also regrouping reassessing where the uh, firepower of your ship is required and you need to look at the mini map and analyze the situation and figure out what is the best course of action to maneuver your ship to the best possible outcome so right here we're running away notice we're continuously spotted by the carrier and we're doing our decent best to hold our own and it is really tough to hit a Marceau with a carrier. I mean, you notice that uh, the carrier is literally just focusing on us while we're getting shot up from another destroyer. But notice his guns aren't doing as much damage to a Marceau player because of that French saturation gimmick. And it's just that your shells are hitting me, but they're just not doing enough damage to really warrant me getting deleted from the game. So right there, we're already running away where a defensive fire was active. We're shooting down planes. Look, we already shot down 19, 19 planes or 39,000 damage to aircraft. I mean, that literally is another light cruiser or just two destroyers right there off the bat of damage. And I wish that Wargaming would include aircraft damage as part of your overall score because you are fighting against somewhat of a player or some kind of thing, right? So why not include that in that? Uh, but anyways, I digress. So not, notice we're also pushing Charlie Cap. Now I got the RPF. Now look, we're, when we're in our Marceau, we feel invincible. I don't feel like I'm going to literally going to take that much damage from anybody and i can just bully destroyers all over the place and rpf is indicating hey there is um there is a destroyer on my left probably the fletcher and you know what why not uh, go ahead and take a shot at the napoli we're not afraid of napoli's either so we're gonna go ahead and fire and see if we can get now notice the ballistics of the shells are very very arky and very wonky at range so i don't recommend building too long of range marceau it's very difficult after whatever they did to it back in the day i used to aim with the marceau but nowadays it's very very difficult it's good at farming battleships and larger uh uh I would say ships that you can lead and kind of get the just walk your shells on. I think it's a little bit easier for that regard. Cruisers is another matter. Marceau is not necessarily a cruiser kind of battler because of the amount of firepower and radar they can provide. And honestly, their guns are strong, but for light cruisers. But again, I wouldn't duke it out against uh, you know heavier cruisers and so forth. I'd rather save this to eliminate all destroyers first farmed battleships later in the game and then of course it did it, it, cruisers kind of last priority here we go we got the we are spotted right there so i know something is out in front of me and also we have 
uh, of course, aircraft flying over us. And but we have the RPF indicator showing, hey, there is a destroyer out in front. Notice the spotter plane is not spotting us. So that's the, probably the new fix that the wargaming has included. So I know that there is a destroyer in front of me who has spotted me. And here we go. There, there he is. So go ahead. Let's see if we can engage the Fletcher. Notice that again, we have 15,000 health to his 20. But we are not afraid. We have support. We have firepower and French saturation gimmicks. And you know what? He, his shells are basically like little pea shooters. He's like, oh, this is not doing anything to the Marcel. While he's melting me. And there it is. Splash 2. He goes down. 27,000 damage already right off the bat. And what did I say? Your job to eliminate all the destroyers on the enemy team means that you have a higher percentage chance of win rate against a team that has lost all of their destroyers and that's exactly why marceau excels in this role so so well to the point where that we are distracting even the cv player who is wasting all their time and shooting us and again that is another role i need to put down there a destroyer player is another decoy distractor to the carrier because guess what the carrier is not attacking your your vulnerable battleships with their aircraft i would rather have every single ship shoot at me than rather shoot at my friendlies because that's exactly what we're doing we're kind of that wild weasel mission where we are literally alerting all the weapon systems to fire at us so that our, our team can have a nice, enjoyable day shooting their targets and helping us out. Again, I'm not so I am selfless. I want to help my team the best I can so that you know when you help your team, you work as a team, you fight as a team, you win as a team. And that is very, very powerful. And that's why I like the destroyer role so much because you can't really do much in a battleship to support your team other than firepower, right? And then of course as a cruiser, you're providing radar, but you're also vulnerable from getting slapped and so forth. And you honestly I enjoy the destroyer role so much because it's such an impactful role. And that's why I do tips and tricks to success in a destroyer player because I find more impact uh, uh, for me, me personally as a player in this game, that I find more and more impact in, in this as well. Because look at what I'm doing right now. What am I doing? Everybody's calling, hey, we have a destroyer off in the flank. That's why RPF is so, so important. You don't let these guys run your flank over secretly. Notice my friendly teams are running away from the threat, and we go at the threat. You know, that is a sign of a good player and a team player because you want to go for and help your team eliminate the threat that will ruin your flank all day long. So here we go, Marceau. We got RPF. Engine boost is on. We're just going to run them down. There's nothing this guy can do. Who, what is this uh, destroyer that's left over here? That's something as a Shima, another Shima player. So guess what? We're going to go head on. So let's see. Remember, he can launch torpedoes. So always keep at an angle inside, nosing in. And once you, you only need the front two turrets if you want. That's all you need. And then, of course, we're watching keep a distance because he's probably going to launch some torpedoes. Now we got full broadside. We can show all of our guns. And now we turn in because I know that's where the torpedoes are. There they are. We try to break his modules as best we can. And just with his front two turrets, just enough. Um, to get uh, eliminate a Shima player splash three forty four thousand all destroyers eliminated on this southeastern flank. We took out Bravo. We took out Charlie and the last destroyer player. Unfortunately, uh, people are complaining and reporting him because he was off in the distance doing nothing. On I mean I I like the Mogador. Mogador is also the counterpart to the Marceau at tier nine and uh, very very powerful. But uh, unfortunately, Marceau just excels at this role so so much better. Look at the reload on right currently right now at the bottom of the screen there two point five seconds reload with adrenaline rush kicking in and we haven't even acted fearless brawler and so forth right there and this thing absolutely does shine and melts destroyers and pretty much this is the game uh let me go ahead and speed it up and just finish it and you can take a look at the results and there it is uh total victory right there completely obliterated the other team i mean a lot of blowouts these days and it's all thanks to the, really the destroyer role i think because you eliminate the destroyers everybody runs back nothing left to do but farm ships and uh, just it annihilate the team and you already just win by points because there's no destroyers out there capping so you pretty much eliminate everything three kills right there forty-four thousand. you notice we didn't have much damage right there but we were one of the most impactful players of the game because we did our role we went out there and ex executed every single mission that the destroyer player is supposed to do and the marceau excels at that let me know in the comments below what you think about the marceau and the gameplay tips and tactics as always hope you guys are doing well if you see me out there build is right there for you say hi to me and you guys stay safe and until next time we'll see you soon cheers